trains have a fascinating history of development and innovation. Trains are an evolution of wheeled wagons running on stone wagonways, the earliest of which were built by Babylon around 2200 BCE. Starting in the 1500s, wagonways were introduced to haul material from mines, from the 1790s, stronger iron rails were introduced. Following early developments in the second half of the 1700s, in 1804 a steam locomotive built by British inventor Richard Trevi Thick powered the first ever steam train. Outside of coal mines, where fuel was readily available, steam locomotives remained untried until the opening of the Stockton and Darlington Railway in 1825. British engineer George Stevenson ran a steam locomotive named Locomotion No. 1 on this 40-kilometer, 25-mile, long line, hauling over 400 passengers at up to 13 km per hour, 8 miles per hour. The success of this locomotive, and Stevenson's rocket in 1829, convinced many of the value in steam locomotives, and within a decade the stock market bubble known as railway mania, started across the United Kingdom. News of the success of steam locomotives quickly reached the United States, where the first steam railroad opened in 1829. American railroad pioneers soon started manufacturing their own locomotives, designed to handle the sharper curves and rougher track typical of the country's railroads. The Union Pacific Big Boy locomotives represented the pinnacle of steam locomotive technology and power. The other nations of Europe also took note of British railroad developments, and most countries on the continent constructed and opened their first railroads in the 1830s and 1840s, following the first run of a steam train in France in late 1829. In the 1850s, trains continued to expand across Europe, with many influenced by or purchases of American locomotive designs. Around the world, steam locomotives grew larger and more powerful throughout the rest of the century as technology advanced. Trains first entered service in South America, Africa, and Asia through construction by imperial powers, which starting in the 1840s built railroads to solidify control of their colonies and transport cargo for export. In Japan, which was never colonized, railroads first arrived in the early 1870s. By 1900, railroads were operating on every continent besides uninhabited Antarctica. So let's look how locomotives have evolved so far. Steam-powered locomotives Steam locomotives were widely used in the 19th and early 20th centuries and played a significant role in industrialization and transportation. Diesel locomotives Diesel locomotives began to replace steam locomotives in the mid-20th century. They were more fuel-efficient and required less maintenance. Diesel electric locomotives became the dominant type due to their versatility and power. Electric locomotives Electric locomotives were introduced in the late 19th century and gained popularity in urban areas in electrified railway networks. They offer a cleaner and more efficient alternative to diesel and steam locomotives. The development of electric locomotive was the main driver for the development of high-speed trains which has revolutionized rail transportation, enabling faster travel over long distances. Countries like Japan, France, and China have been at the forefront of high-speed rail technology. Maglev trains With the ever-increasing demand of high-speed locomotives, magnetic levitation was considered a strong option to go for. Magnetic levitation or maglev trains use magnetic fields to lift and propel the train, reducing friction and enabling even higher speeds. Maglev technology is still being developed and implemented in some regions. Although the first patent on maglev was filed in US in 2 December 1902, the first prototype train was built only after a decade by French-American inventor Emile Bachelet in Mount Vernon, New York. Other countries who have achieved significant milestones in maglev are Japan where the first test locomotive was made in 1969. Germany tested its first maglev in 1979. Soviet Union started its maglev program in 1975 and had a prototype tested by 1979. South Korea has built a commercially operated maglev for Incheon Airport transportation in 1993 which is still in operation. Lastly China where the commercial maglev started its operation in 2003 connecting Shanghai Airport. Hybrid and Alternative Propulsion 
With a growing focus on environmental sustainability, researchers and engineers are exploring hybrid locomotives and alternative propulsion methods such as hydrogen fuel cells and battery-powered trains. Future Concepts Ongoing research and development are leading to innovative concepts like Hyperloop, a proposed high-speed transportation system that uses vacuum tubes to propel pods at incredible speeds. The evolution of locomotives is a testament to human ingenuity and the continuous pursuit of better transportation solutions. As technology progresses, we can expect to see further advancements in railway systems to meet the demands of the future. So, hope you liked this video. If so, please click on the like button. Give your valuable comments on this video. And subscribe to this channel. Thank you.